Hi and welcome to Fabric Bites. It is Sunday, April 14th, 2024 and they are done. I finally finished these three bags on that. Um, so I did a previous video when I was almost done with them. I think that was, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before. I've lost track of time. I think it was yesterday. Um, but they're done. Yay! Um, so let me show you them complete. Um, what I was working on before, what was holding me up was, well, um, time for one. And then I was just really trying to learn how to get this binding on these zippers the right way. Still not sure I have it down completely, but I am going to make more of these bags. And so I'm well on my way uh, with that. So let's start by showing you this. Well, first, let me show you this bag because this is the bag that I'm like, um, I like the best, I think, because it was looking the worst out of all of these bag so when I put this on the issue I was having was that I was not sewing this when I sewed it in place I was sewing too far away from the zipper and then when I wrapped it over um, it was just too loose and so I wrapped it over and so this one because it was so loose my fabric was kind of loopy but not consistently loopy just kind of funny loopy <laughs> so maybe a loop here and then a straight and kind of loopy and anyway it just looked bad um, on there so I ripped it all out in the process. I actually, actually I ripped the binding, so I had to recut out the binding and put it on, And but it came out looking a lot better. Um, all of my bags have a little bit. I've got to get a lint roller with them because I had to rip so many times on that one there and this one um, that there's little strings everywhere on that. So inside of the bags, let's see them. All right, so this was um, this was the most plain one that I did, and I like that because you know these are really pretty. I love these, but someone else might not. So I kind of like going um, a kind of a different style. All of these are sewn with fusible fleece um, as the supporting interfacing on that. And then so here's this one. I did do a pop of color on the inside here. This right here, I don't think you can see it, but there is actually purple. In here the best place I'll show you in one of the pockets is um, to see that pop of color let's see oops not that one um, is it that one or is it oh, let's see there that one you can really see it right there with that pop of purple that's on this one and that's why I chose this purple to coordinate with it so the pocket linings are um, on this one it's the solid purple on this one it's the 50 50 and on this one it's the lining um, here this design on that one and there is a fabric loop um, in each of the outer kind of slip pockets I guess I would call them the these here um, on this one it's on this side instead of on this side and that's just because I sewed this side first and I accidentally left it off so when I went to go to sew this side I was like eh, I'll just throw it in on that side so I did and then so there's this one uh, on that and it is my favorite, but I, I really do love how all of them came out. Just this fabric is beautiful. This fabric was given to me by a friend. Um, and again, there's another video for that if you want to see what happened there. Um, so this one is really, really pretty with that pop of purple on the outside. So on the inside, also went with a purple on that. So fabric loops in each, and this time all of them on the same side. Uh, the interior of the pockets are... The exterior fabric, the interior fabric, the exterior fabric on those. So let me show you that again because I'm not sure I did that on camera. And there you go on that. So like that. And this was the one I did after this one. It wasn't technically, this was technically the last one I did. I finished it first, had it set behind all of this while I worked on this one over and over again kept looking at this one going oh my god that one looks terrible uh, so I did this one did this one ripped this one and redid this one so this was both first and last <laughs> so there we go and then there's this one I did end up on this one if you looked at my previous video I did end up going and taking one of the tabs not this one but this side and re um, flipping it outside and making it a little bit wider to make this fit because this one is the one where it's kind of spongy I didn't put it on right but I did get the get it sewn on so it does look nice on that so this has um, this nice pop of green I thought about finding trying to find some brown to go with it but or tan but I didn't really have the right coordinating fabric on it so I went with because this is yellow toned I went with a yellow 
um, nice light yellow on the inside but I did a pop of brighter yellow on the edges on the inside and as a nice surprise on that middle pocket the two side pockets are done with that exterior fabric um, and then of course there is on each one of these open pockets here there are mm, the fabric I added the fabric loops um, here and that's not in the original pattern that's just something I like to add to it because I, I'm kind of fabric loop crazy um, my tabbies there so there they are um, I'm not quite certain if I've, I've mastered that binding on the top there, but I am going to be making more of these, so I will have time to practice on them. So, and that's it. I hope you like them. I hope that wherever and whenever you're at, you're having a great time. And thanks for watching.